Oh my gosh, your students are so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Do they all speak Mexican? Um, no, Mexican's not a language, so they speak Spanish. Oh yeah, but like in Mexico, they speak Mexican. So in DR, they probably speak Mexican too. Oh no, like Mexican's not a language anywhere, but yeah, they know they do speak Spanish and they speak English too. <laughs> oh cool, you live in the Dominican Republic. So like, do you live in a hut? Oh no, I live in a house. <laughs> like a normal house. Yeah, no, no, no. I know like a house, but it like has no roof or it's probably like a shack, right? Like do you have running water or like electricity? Yeah, I have running water and electricity and a roof. It's like actually a nicer house than my house in New York. So yeah, it's really big. Um, it has floors. Yep, just your um, regular old house. Oh, Dominican Republic. Okay, so you're on like West Coast time zone, right? Like since you're next to California. Oh, um, no, no, I'm on East Coast time zone because the Dominican Republic is under Florida. So, um, yeah, pretty far from California, but that's fine. Oh my God, you're dating a Dominican? Wow, he's gonna cheat on you and he's probably just with you for money and a green card. So I would be really careful if I were you. Oh yeah, I've never heard that one before. So yeah, thanks for your opinion though. Um, do you even know his name, by the way? Oh yeah, my dad went to Punta Cana one time and he said that you can't even leave the resort, that the whole area around it is just like so dangerous. Dominicans are all like scammers and they're gonna rob you. Like you should never walk around alone. Definitely don't carry anything with you. I don't even know how you live alone. Like I could never do it. It's so dangerous. Oh yeah, no, not every Dominican's poor and um, you don't have to stay on the resort. I mean, I agree, you have to be street smart in a certain sense anywhere you go, but I've never been robbed. I've never been almost robbed. And a lot of Dominicans that I know are way richer than I am. <laughs> oh my God, Dominican Republic. Do you eat tacos every single day for every meal? No, I love tacos, but we don't really eat tacos there. It's not really like a Dominican food, but I wish. <laughs> I'm confused. Um, your husband's like pretty light. I thought all Dominicans were like really dark. So is he like the whitest Dominican that there is? Oh, wow, <laughs> that's a bad one. Um, no, Dominicans come in all shapes and all sizes and all colors, just like Americans. So, darker than me, lighter than me, yeah. Ew, I don't know why you would wanna live there. Like, I heard the beaches are really pretty, but everything else is disgusting. Oh, okay, to me it's not. The beaches are really nice, but the country is not disgusting in any way. I actually love it, and a lot of people do. But you should go there before you start making assumptions like that. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so these are just a few of the things that I heard when I was moving to the Dominican Republic or when I told people I lived there already. Whew. Just a few. There are like probably way worse ones, ones I forget. Um, there were actually a ton that I remembered that I didn't include, so I would love to hear yours in the comments if there's anything like <laughs> pretty dumb or ignorant that people said to you when you told them that you were moving to the DR or if you were moving to another country. I would love to hear it because stereotypes are so strong and I was really surprised at like people who didn't know basic things. <laughs> um, now that being said, here's my disclaimer because I have to put one in all my videos. I totally get that people don't know everything about every culture and how would I expect them to if they've never been somewhere. It's just those like speaking as facts that get me that you know people are like so sure that every dominican is like a scammer or so sure that they're all poor or that i lived in a hut or that i had no friends or whatever it may be just speaking it as like so sure and positive when you don't know i'm like that is the part that got me so anyway i would love to hear you add to the list if you have anything um this is just a lighthearted video so I'm not holding any grudges. I'm not thinking about these things. Just thought it would be funny. But if you like videos like this, be sure you're subscribed. I have new videos every single week and I will see you guys soon.